Hey, what's going on, guys? So in the past, we've taken a look at a couple of the Mechatro We Go Evangelion crossover releases. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a couple more of them. I thought we would just combine these two kits into one review video just because they're going to be obviously kind of similar. So we're going to be taking a look at first. This is uh, 20 Mechatro here. Mechatro We Go in 120 scale of Eva Unit 1 and Shinji here for this one. And this one is, it'd be the Evangelion Mark VI here and a Kaoru. So these kits are basically just gonna be different color versions of the 120 scale Mechatro Ego. That said, the Eva Unit 01 has a different part for the horn on the head, which is kind of cool. As far as other different alternate parts or anything, I'm not sure. I don't think either of them come with anything else other than the horn for the head of the Eva Unit 01. It's mostly just gonna be recolors and they have a bunch of different kind of decal markings and stuff to make them look like how you see in like the box art. And then of course they also feature some really cool 120 scale uh, resin model kits there of the characters in this really cute style there. You may recognize the character illustration. I'm trying to find the artist's name on here because I can't remember off the top of my head, but some of one of you will know and you'll let me know in the comment section below anyway. I always love the artwork on the Mechatro We Go boxes. It's always really, really nice. And these are no exceptions, the Evangelion version. So if you're an Evangelion fan, uh, you will definitely also appreciate these. So let's go ahead and check them out. The Shogo key first, and then we'll check out the Mark VI here as well. So aside from just the box art in general, one thing that I really like about these Mechatro Evangelion crossover releases is not like the main artwork, but like all the stuff in the background, all the kind of extra references to different stuff uh, from Evangelion that are there in the background here for these releases. So really, really great box art. It would be awesome to have like posters or like an art book or something available with some of the Mechatro art in it. I think would be very nice. So on the box ends here, we're gonna have it in typical style for the Mechatro line, where on one side we've got it in English, Shogoki with Shinji Ikari, and on the other side, as we saw there, it's like opposite color background and it's in Japanese. On the one side of the box, we have a bit here about the ease of assembly, how everything's all molded in color, but there are gonna be a lot of colors missing from this. I mean, it's not gonna look like that straight out of the box. The decals are doing a lot of the heavy lifting and making it look as good as it looks there. Uh, so you guys will see that here once we have the kit all built up, but there's a couple of reference images here of how the kit's going to look uh, when it is all done up properly. And here you can see, this is an image showing the actual uh, approximate size. So you can kind of see this photograph is scaled to be so that the figure and the model kit are there in like a one-to-one -one size, which is kind of cool. On the other side of the box, we got to look at some other different products in the Mechatro lineup from Hasegawa. And the list price here for this one at 4,300 yen. Popping the top here for this one, we'll take a look at the decals and instructions and then the runners. But taking a look at the instruction manual here, first we've got the same artwork as what we had on the front, just minus the background color or just with a white background now in this case. I like how he's like sitting on a ball, but it's actually like a Evangelion core there, I'm just kind of realizing. I always just thought it was like just like a ball, but it's a core, isn't it? It's dripping, very cool. On the back side, which kind of wraps around to the inside a little bit is gonna be our color guide. Here we have a bunch of nice images showing where all the decals go and also our color guide is right there for both the main kit and for the Shinji figure included. So those are really nice. We have a parts list, which is also in full color here on the inside and part of the construction, the beginning part of the construction, most of the construction on the other side of the manual is gonna all be here in black and white. So there's all the construction of that. Let's take a look at these water slide decals. And as you can see, we have some very large uh, like colors that are gonna be made up by just these massive decals. And from my experience trying these out, it's quite difficult to get some of these on because they're really large and curved areas, so it can be tricky. Some of these other ones, though, obviously not going to be quite as bad. Smaller ones, the Nerve logo uh, markings, the Chubu markings here. And you also have water slide decals included for the eyes for Shinji, which is nice to have those in there as well. On that note, here is how the Shinji figure is going to come just uh, molded here in resin. So just a handful of parts, pretty simple basic construction there for that, and that should look really nice once that's all built and painted up. As for the runners then, we've got some polycaps PC14 here in gray. Runners A and B are gonna be a bunch of our purple armor parts here for the outside. Runners C is gonna be some parts here in that nice bright kind of Evangelion style fluorescent orange. And then we've got a bunch of runners here in black. So runner D here, some parts for the inside. Runners E, F, G, and J are gonna be our other ones, so kind of skipping through the alphabet there a little bit for some of these. 
Here you can see some nice parts. This runner here is uh, often in chrome for the 120 scale Mechatro kit, in this case just here once again in black. Then we've got runner K for some clear parts here in a clear red this time, it looks very cool. And then our new parts, specifically for this version, only the uh, Mechatro Evangelion parts here. This is EA and EB for Evangelion A and B runners, obviously in purple and in black there for the eyes. The horn part there, as you can see, unfortunately, is going to be two parts with a seam line in between. So that's not ideal, but it is cool to at least have a new part for this version of the kit. As for the Mark VI and Kawaru here, once again, really cool imagery there in the background. Some nice references that you can see there to different stuff from the anime. Really cool to see Kawaru here with the kind of shakers there, maracas, right? I always like to see the style here for the figures that are included with these. Very cool. On the one end here, white background with Japanese. On the other side here, dark blue background here with English, Mark VI, and Kaoru Nagisa. On the side of the box here, easy assembly and nice photographs there of the painted kits, the model and figure front and back. The model there doing its kind of like a ascension or descension kind of pose there from the anime and then once again a one-to-one -one scale like photo here of the painted builds on the other side once again just some more different releases available in the mechatro lineup of kits there from hasagawa and the list price for this one at 3900 yen popping the top on this and we can expect basically all the same runners it's not going to have the runners specific for the horn on the head. So it's basically just gonna be all the same runners of your average uh, regular 120 scale Mechatro kit here. But here we have the instruction manual once again, just with the white background and illustration there. On the back side, we have reference images of the painted models along with our color guide down there at the bottom. This is also going to be our decal guide right here. Really cool, nice big like a seal logo marking there for the back side of that. It's gonna be very nice, but as we saw with the Shogoki with the Eva Unit 01, we've got some pretty massive water side decals here for this, for a round on the kit. Some smaller ones and all the printing quality, everything on here looking really nice. For the eye decals, obviously gonna be pretty minimal. It's just these kind of like, uh, cause his eyes are closed on the figure. So that's pretty simple enough. For the figure, here's how that's gonna look. Once again, just a couple parts, mainly for the body one of the arms and the hair and head parts are separate on there. And getting into the runners here, PC-14 once again there in gray. Runners A and B are gonna be in this main blue color there for the outer armor. Runners C in that really nice fluorescent D kind of orange color. Runners D, E, and F are gonna be all of our kind of internal parts, not black in this case, in a just kind of medium gray color, interestingly enough. And runner G is in a kind of lighter bluish gray color, looks really nice. Runner J is in black here. Once again, not any chrome plated parts, which is kind of typical, as I said. And then runner K in this case, instead of being in clear red, is just in plain clear. And that's it for all the runners. All right, let's take a look at the built kits then. All right, guys, so here they are all built up. Here is the Shogoki and the Mark VI models. Really cool to see the 20 scale Mechatro kits here in the Evangelion colors. Obviously, without all the different markings and everything on them, you're not getting like the full look, but this is just exactly how they look, just straight up built out of the box without doing anything else to them. So I just want to show them to you guys in that way. Because we've reviewed these kits before, because I've reviewed this kit before, uh, there's not going to be necessarily a whole lot to go over in terms of the kits, but we'll take a look at everything. And of course, obviously, the uh, Shogoki here has the new parts on the head, which are really cool. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at both of the kits here, starting off with Eva 01. So as for this one, aside from the water slide decals and the small resin figure there of Shinji, which is very cute, we don't have any other kind of accessories or anything for it. You do have the original parts for making just the normal head if you do want to use those for some reason, but I would assume probably not. You do also have some clear parts for the eyes, just a little like semi-circle clear parts that you can pop in there. I don't want to pop those in quite yet because that's the kind of thing like you would want to put in like if you're planning on painting you know, after painting because otherwise you could pop them in and then later if you want to take them out you can drill them out and just, just pop them out from the back but I don't want to drill through that detail in there so anyway I don't have the clear parts in there for the eyes but if you open up the mouth you can see there's one of the clear red parts right there which is on like the inside of the kind of main body closing that up here around on the back side we have clear red parts for like the tail lights here at the back also 
if we open up this part, you can take off this panel here on the back. Now, I suppose you could use that for plugging this onto a base, sort of, um, of some sort, although I don't really know what kind of base. We don't have anything included in, like, it's quite a large hole there, but I mean, yeah, I guess you could use that for something. What would have been really cool, I feel like I talked about this when I reviewed uh, past versions of the Evangelion crossover ones, would be like if we would have had a new part for making some kind of like the uh, power connection part, the umbilical cable connection, which we'll plug into right there. That would have been really cool. But anyway, just treating this as though you guys have never seen this kit before, and so this is your first time seeing it, just to talk a little bit more about some of the articulation. The joints, uh, the main joints for the arms and legs are connected via ball joints here, and then we have a single bend at the elbow, which is gonna give you about 90 degrees there like that. The wrist will turn uh, the claw sort of portion, and then of course you can open that up, the claw there as well. The arm will also rotate at the elbow, here, if I can show that to you guys, it will rotate there as well. And then down here at the hip again, the leg is just connected via a single ball joint. Our knee bend is gonna give you about 90 degrees or so there as well. The foot is just on a single ball joint here as well. This little bit of armor here on the side can move, although not really all that much. That little circle bit right there is just kind of hanging loosely. Now, aside from that, we can open up the whole front side of this and you can see that's where your standing uh, figure would be in like the normal kits that come with a little like 120 scale uh, standing child figure that you can have them stand in there and holding on to these but this uh, extends out there's like a little arm there that extends and then they can be standing on this and holding on to like the controls here inside the sort of cockpit or inside the body of the Mechatro sort of as it were and this is made to be able to extend all the way down like to the ground when the Mechatro is in just a standing position like that so that it's easy access for the pilot or the child or whatever to get in. If you guys don't know, like in sort of like the canon quote unquote universe of Mechatro, these are meant to be robots uh, that are made to be used by kids for like going to school and etc. like that. If you take a look at some of the art featured on some of the other box art, like the normal 135th scale kit box art for these, you can kind of see that, so it's kind of cool. Anyway, and then in the case of the Mark VI, we don't have any new parts for the head or anything, unfortunately, so it's just gonna be uh, the same kit, just recolored here. And our clear parts are gonna be plain clear, like there for the tail lights. It does have the same clear part for right in there. And that like clear part, which is like a kind of uh, like heads up display, I'm not sure, kind of like control panel there on the inside. It has quite a bit of detail molded into it, but I mean, like, there's not really any good way you can really see that even if you have the whole front opened up and you can kind of see it sort of like up inside of there. But anyway, so uh, there's all the same features here with this. That part will extend out and probably a lot easier to see on this kit just because it's not all black on the inside. But that is very nicely detailed there. You can see there is holes for that would be again where the feet plug into for the figure, which is unfortunate that they didn't include that. And now, of course, we have the uh, resin figures of the Evangelion characters included, which is nice, but it still would have been cool to have the uh, 120 scale. I keep wanting to say 135th because that's what I'm used to, but uh, 120 scale uh, child figures to be included on the inside of here. Kind of like what we saw with the Mechatro chunk kit, which we recently took a look at. That was in 135th scale, and it had like the resin figure of the new support girl character included, but still included the Mechatro teacher figure to go on the inside of the chunk in that case. So it would have been nice if they would have included that. Uh, one more point of sort of articulation or kind of gimmick that I forgot to mention here is that the top like hatch part here also opens up. It's kind of difficult to get it to do it without uh, poking it up from the inside, I feel like. There we go, now I've got it up. So yeah, that uh, hatch on the top lifts up like that, so you can kind of see down inside of there, and then you can just close that back up. So anyway, just another kind of cool, interesting, fun little gimmick here to this kit. I really like the size of this. And again, just to give you guys an idea of just how big it is, it's uh, roughly about the same head height as a 144 scale Gundam kit there, as you can see, but obviously for much different, like in terms of the overall proportions. And this is the 120 scale version. So the 135th scale version, I have built and reviewed the 135th scale Mechatro We Go kit before. If you guys have not seen that, it's about like, uh, you know, there up to here on this so it's certainly much smaller it is nice to have this kit in the larger scale but the small ones are really nice as well just because it's scaled up it's not necessarily all that much more complex it is a little bit uh, more complex in terms of just the overall number of parts compared to the 135th scale version but it's mostly just kind of a, an upscaled 
uh, version of that. We'll also show you guys up underneath the feet. You have some nice color separation in here as well and just really cool, just kind of small details all around which do make the kit pretty cool. So that's it for the review guys. We'll just take a look at a few poses here to wrap up the video. I will say there's a couple of thoughts that I have about this. Number one, like I think I said earlier, the decals are awesome but they can be very challenging especially like the larger decals that go around on the curved surfaces uh, it's it's definitely a challenge when I've tried to put them on before I definitely struggle with it so just be very careful with those and I love the fact that these are Evangelion Mechatro crossovers just because those are two uh, brands that I really like I love the Mechatro series of model kits and the designs of them and that, that's all really cool and of course I love Evangelion so it's cool to see these like kind of combine I do wish that it was pushed a little bit further I like that the in the case of the Ava 01 at least it has new head parts in that case but it really would have been cool to have some other additional new parts included like the umbilical cable plug or something like that some sort of just simple weapon uh, I think would have been nice as well something that they can utilize I do wish that they would have made a little bit more in terms of like some new parts that are a bit more kind of Evangelion instead of basically just recoloring the kits and giving us some decals the inclusion of the resin figures is really awesome just because again I'm also a big fan of Arawi Keiichi's art style is just really cool and cute as well so I love like all the box art for the Mechatro kits and so it's cool to have like the Eva characters in that kind of art style and very cute with like the musical instruments and stuff like that so I love that and those are that's another really cool thing to have included in there and again normally like a 120 scale resin uh, character figure would probably cost you about as much as this entire kit costs so, I mean you're definitely getting your value uh, here but it would have been nice I definitely wouldn't have minded paying a little bit more for the addition of some more new uh, plastic parts for the main kit itself Otherwise, it's an awesome crossover. They're definitely really cool at, for no other reason than at the very least just some collector's kits. Again, if you're an Evangelion fan and you're a fan of the Mechatro model kit line. So definitely check them out, guys. And I believe this is the end of the line. I don't think that they're going to be coming out with any more in this series. And I think I've reviewed all of them now. I do have the Ava Unit Zero version uh, all painted up. And I'm kind of working that. That's basically in the middle of a kind of diorama that I'm building there with that. That was something that I started in Korea. And I need to go back and finish working on that. When I do, I will show it to you guys. But for now, if you guys have any other questions about these kits, do let me know in the comment section below. As always, guys, thank you so much for all of your support and if you guys want to check the link in the video description below you can find these kits and other Mechatro kits and other Evangelion model kits and products there at USA Gundam store the link is right down there in the video description so check that out thanks again guys for leaving a like on the video subscribing if you're not subscribed make sure that you are that really helps out a lot and until next time hope you all have a great day I'll see you guys later bye bye